part two of Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. We're going to be doing level three and four today. Yeah, and that's uh, Spark's little message. Also, that little cut was me stopping and starting a recording session. Because uh, my recording sessions were about what these parts are. Uh, two parts per... Uh, two levels per session. Uh, but I uh, I would have to uh, save by using the vir Wii Virtual Console's uh, restore point feature because I don't want to start with only two lives. Thank you. I don't know if zero counts. Anyway, so that up there is a button. That button is uh, how you get 100%. So you got to go through... The game will start you out easy by making very, very simple puzzles, but they will uh, become a little more complicated later on. I don't think any of them... Requ no, some of them do require having certain copy abilities, but they usually have that ability in the area, if not the room. <clears throat> so yeah, so now we're at Butter Building. And fun fact, uh, take the first letter of every level, and uh, it backwards spells Luigi Biv. So you had V, I, and now B, so you know where it goes. Uh, except for the final level, level 8, uh, the Fountain of Dreams, that's, uh, that's separate. Anyway, so yeah, this is only a... A four-part Let's Play, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be my shortest Let's Play ever, because I think the the least amount before this was five, and I think that was ugh, back in, like, <clears throat> that was back in my Mega Man X days, back when the channel first, well, technically, kind of first started. Back when I promised myself that I wouldn't, uh, start over again. Uh, I, I've, in terms of YouTube, I've, I've been through a decent little bit. I'm not going to say I've been through a lot. No. I, I've definitely been through a lot of channels back when, you know, you had to make your own channel, uh, once per email account. But, uh... Yeah, no. Anyway, uh, so I, I'm a little happy that I've stayed with this, uh, but also there's part of me that's like, I hate my old stuff. I absolutely hate it. That microphone was terrible. Well, not the microphone itself, but the headset, man. Never again with headsets. Never again. Professional microphones only. Oh, well, my professional, I mean just uh, separate ones. Ones not attached to the headphones. I like the, these headphones too. Um, if, you've, if you've seen my Twitter, <laughs> uh, the once in a blue moon time I sh uh, post anything on there. Uh, I have both, thanks to a certain content creator, both uh, uh, Raycon earbuds and headphones uh, I would do the I would uh, as a joke do the ad but I don't remember I don't remember it all that well anyway so uh, this guy I forget what this enemy is called in the games because I think every enemy has a name uh, but this guy gives you uh, the backdrop ability I know. Backdrop. <laughs> Don't that sound great? Anyway, he, he'll he grab you, he will backdrop you, and uh, he'll shoot, I'm assuming, his kids at you. He's like some kind of like beetle, but he shoots out what looks like ladybugs. Which is kind of odd, but hey, it's Kirby, I'm not gonna... Not gonna say no. Who am I to tell this man he can't have ladybug kids? 
Anyway, so backdrop is uh, you lunge forward and uh, you give him a good uh, a good pound on the ground. You can go forward. You can go straight up. You can go. Uh, you can do a like a suplex. <laughs> The one where you go up, I keep thinking like Kirby's like dropping them on his knee, but you no, know, Kirby doesn't have knees. Backdrop is cool, but it, it's not one of my favorites, I'm gonna be honest. Anyway, level 3 of Butter Building. It's more building. What'd you expect? <laughs> Uh, there's no point really commentating on level design because, I don't know, I just feel like it's, it's all the same, it feels like. Oh, I want burning. But I'm about dead. Which, if this is what I think it is, yep, okay, so this is unfortunate because I think just a little higher up. My first, that was my first death, but just a little higher up is a maximum tomato, which fully restores your health. This is a good kick in the teeth. Yep, there it is. Oh man, I was, I was a little upset by that. I was like, oh, I wanted to see how far I could go without having to lose a life. But it was, thankfully, three worlds in. Uh, we have the top yet? So you'll know if you've uh, done 100% in a level, if you've gotten the button, if the door turns that sheet of like yellow instead of staying red. Because if it stays red, you've missed something. Anyway, we've got another Meta Knight Rush, I see. Okay, so looking from this, it looks like the sword is pretty effective, but I th still think that the big guys, uh, yeah, they take two slashes. I think they're one of the only, like, not boss enemies that take multiple hits. Which is odd. And oddly enough, I think... Again, excluding like bosses, how they give you different power, uh, how they give you power ups along with some enemies. I think uh, Sword is the only one to have two different enemies that give you a uh, sword. I think. Could be wrong on that. But yeah, it is strange. You've got the. Uh, oh, and here's Quick Draw. You've got that, like, green knight, and then you have a, uh, like a dark knight. The dark knight, I always thought Link. Anyway, so, quick draw. Quick draw, Texas, Texas, tests your reflexes. So, you want to press A as soon as you see that little symbol up here. And the numbers you're seeing, that's how fast your reaction is in milliseconds. And, let's just say... That's the best I can do is uh, about 16. I did like a 14 once, but it's still not enough to beat Meta Knight. And you only get a one up from getting that far. Anything lower and it's just a, oh, here's the roulette. And I got throw. Throw, you suck in an enemy and you toss it out. Uh, toss it in a direction. It, not very good for a very ver uh, very vertical level like this. See, I even get rid of it for a cutter. Oh, and there's uh, there's freeze. Get out of my way, Gordo. Hi, it's the hammer enemy. Hammer and stone are uh, kind of unique in what they do in this, uh, because uh, there are, there will be pegs in the ground, and hammer and stone are the only ones who can deal with those pegs.
Now we have Hammer. I think Hammer is just a slower sword, but it can also, you know, uh, hit the pegs in. So you can get stuff like one-ups and maximum tomatoes. And you can also uh, find the secret, bu uh, the secret button in certain levels. <clears throat> 5,000 points. Alright, next up. I think we're just about done with level 3. Unfortunately. <laughs> I tried, but I could not beat the crash enemy. Yeah, its range is not that great. Especially considering, you know, you get a, uh, like, a, a giant explosion. Whenever I see that explosion nowadays, I think of, um, I think it was, in, yeah, in Dragon Ball Z, uh, where Vegeta blows himself up, I think in the, the Boo Saga. Yeah, the cannons are also invincible, so, no point. Those birds always remind me of the, the, the peep. I uh, like marshmallow candy. Oh, now I kind of want marshmallows. Mm. Ooh, I almost died there. If I had been just a few pixels off, I would have would have lost a life. Anyway, uh, you'll see. I think there are multiple rooms like that where uh, you break a bomb block, it explodes, and it creates also. So you have to you have to quickly move to get to what you just opened. Oh yeah, and here comes a very <laughs> very one-off power-up. This is light. It brightens up the room. That's it. That's literally all it does. But uh, well, I I forget if it's one of those you need. You needed to, um... Oh, and here's sleep. You literally do nothing. <laughs> I forget if you needed to actually make the, uh... Secret area unlock. But, uh... It'll make it easier to spot. I think I was trying to get a light to carry with me. But, uh, you don't need light once you, once you leave the area. Once you leave that room. Anyway, now you've got a choice to make. And, uh, if you jump just right, you can spot what's up ahead without having to commit to a path. I didn't like that cutter. I like this one better. Can't do it with the... Not as easily you can't do it with that one. But that's the end of that stage, and uh, up next should be the boss of level 3. Which, for me, would normally spell the end of the level, but um, still got all of world 4 to go through. Also, that's the point of the little star room. It's basically a quick travel from one, one world to another. Anyway, so here's our bosses. The sun and the moon. So they, uh, when they attack, they launch out little stars. The sun will give you the fire cop copy ability, while the moon will give you cutter. Victory dance. Now we have level four, Grape Garden. <laughs> Kirby wants all his balloons, but in the end, he has no balloons. Not very garden-like. Also, if you notice the backgrounds, um, I've pulled all these backgrounds from the Kirby fandom, and uh, they're basically just uh, level maps of certain levels. This one, uh, each of them, corresponds to each level, uh, to a level in each world. So the first part had a map from level one and so on. 
Now they're offering UFO, but I think here I'm just like, I don't want UFO. Also, here's Ball, and he nearly gets me killed. Ball is interesting in that uh, you just, I think you hold down the jump button, and he'll bounce and bounce, and he'll just become nigh unstoppable, but um, it's not that great. Also, that little plus formation there. Uh, let's just say we missed a secret area here. Anyway, what was I talking about besides ball? Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the level backgrounds. Yeah, so, uh, these are... Like, you'll find a stage in level 4 that has this background. Um, I use it because I liked... I liked the first couple that I found. And it's like, I wasn't sure whether to use the same background for the whole game or not. I decided to go with this. Oh, I'm about to die. I see that edit in the video. Where will it be? Who will it be to? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I, I now remember. <laughs> so I added out my deaths. Uh, by just kind of showing the room in its entirety on the take that was uh, successful. Also, these guys, they don't give you a copy ability. They're just food. Yeah, all that happens with uh, when you eat an enemy that's not a copy ability is Kirby just, you know, swallows them up. And if I think right back at you is to be believed, uh, he has his own little universe inside his stomach. As a stomach, where I don't think anything is digested. So you just kind of float there for eternity. I think. If I'm remembering my Kirby lore correctly. Also, we have, uh, more of the, the bombers. Now in red. Or purple, or... Whatever color you, uh, say it is. Is it a magenta? Either way, very easy. And Spark makes short work of a lot of enemies in this game. Though you are immobile and it's not the easiest to get out of once you start. Also, now you realize that I missed something in level 1 past me. So how it works is I'm going to cut back to the room where I missed something in. And then once I'm done with that room, I will... Uh, if I have not shown it off, I will... Uh, go until... Go through rooms until I get back to familiar territory. In which case things will change. Or things will be edited. There we go, go through that, hit the button, and I could just cut it. Well, also, whenever you go through a stage that you've already completed, you can just press start and there will be an option uh, in the menu that says exit through a door. And it will take you right out of the level and it will count your uh, button press. So. Also, there are a few levels that have this. A cannon with a wire attached to it. Not all of them are as long. In fact, there's one of them that I'm just not going to do. Because, uh, it is, is really dumb. You'll see it way later. I think it's like World 7 or 8, I think? Or maybe even 6. I don't know. I recorded this part. You think I would? No. But I don't. It has also been like a week or two since I've recorded this game and so pretty much uh, everything has been kind of forgotten. Like I remember certain things about this playthrough but not a lot. And I, can, I already know that we missed a secret in this level uh, which I believe is further down the airship line. I remember doing a test playthrough of this, and I nearly died trying to get that uh, health bit. 
I went from like five units of health to one, and then I went up to three. It's just like, it's the principle of the thing now. Anyway, there's the end of stage. Up we go. Oh, and we actually got the one up. But, that little chunk of area did not clear out, and the door didn't go yellow, so there's still something here. This is a very strange, this is a very odd level, it's just like, I wouldn't expect all these blimps to be solid, but they are. Anyway, here's the room that I missed, and I don't think it's a puzzle, yep. It's just, press the button. And it's a museum! I think here is, yep, leave through a door. So yeah, and the button still counted, even though uh, we did that. Also, now I show off ball, and right over there is sleep. Sleep is worthless in this game. I think in most games that sleep's available, I think it's worthless. Also, I just realized that uh, what Kirby has in his mouth when he's asleep is a pillow. For some reason, for the longest time, I thought that was some kind of giant, like, spit bubble or something like that. I know, gross, but it's what I thought for the longest time. Oh yeah, and the beetle can also dash in midair. Fun, huh? Just... Avoid him, because, uh, if he catches you and you're not, like, and you don't have your invincibility frames, uh, it'll hurt. Because he will backdrop you. Alright, level four of Grape Garden. Oh, and there's Ball again. I forget if those things are unaffected by throw, because with throw you have to, you have to suck in the enemy to throw them. I don't know if that counts in triggering their, uh, their enemy attack. And I say, alright, let's cut it out with the, the backdropping. Let's just get a practical weapon. And I think this is, yeah, this is definitely the stage that I got the, uh, the background for Greek Garden. When I first saw it, I was like, this looks nothing, uh, this does not look like a garden at all. Then again, uh, some of these don't look like what they were supposed to. My favorite's, uh, level two's artwork. Also, this stage, uh, this took me two attempts because you have to race the explosion. Because once it get at, gets at the end, you saw it open a path, but it also created one as well. Also, I see spark, I get spark. Spark is best ability. Also, we have this elephant. I think he gives you throw? I don't remember. I believe it's throw he gives. And I think the game is trying to teach you about throw, because that path definitely looked like something meant for throw. Ooh, another one up. I am doing pretty well. So well, I deserve a drink. God, that's good water. Ooh, invincibility. Also, there's the teal knight, apparently. I forgot about the teal knight. I was like, oh, is there something down here? Yeah, death. Ooh, but what's this? Oh, it's a maximum tomato when I think I was at full health. If not, I think I only had one damage. I don't know why I decided to give up uh, Spark, but here we go. Here's Freeze. It's basically Spark, but with an added step. <laughs> they turned to Ice Cubes. They will just kind of destroy themselves on their own. Oh, and there's the Red Knight. The Crimson Knight. 
And speaking of knights, <laughs> another meta knight state. Uh, Luke Rush. I think he's only got like four types of moves. He's got the axe wielder. He's got the the spinning spears. He's got the guys who throws the spears or the tridents. And then he's got the ball and chain guy. Four or five. Come back. Burning Kirby! I accidentally pressed the start button instead of the select button. It's like, ooh, spark! Oh yeah, this room is uh, pretty good for uh, burning. Because you can, uh, while you're dashing, you're invincible. So you can just pass through the Gordos with no no issue. I decided to say, yeah, let's not with that one. I wonder whose balloons those are. Alright, that uh, level's taken care of. Stage 6. Then it's boss time, and that'll be the end of part two. Kirby Nightmare Dream Man. Now, I say I've only experienced, like, a handful of uh, his games. I don't dislike Kirby. I do find his games enjoyable. Like, I really enjoyed this game in Triple Deluxe. Um, it's just a matter of, like... I just have a uh, like a priority with some games, and Kirby's not really one on the priority list. Also, this stage, this stage has a secret, and uh, I miss it. You need light in order to find it, and it's not just a matter of using light, but you also have to backtrack because it's a lot further back than how far I go. I don't think it goes through that door. Oh, and also this. Uh, how do you feel about puzzles? Because, uh, don't just, um, hit them in order. Because there is a certain order you have to do this in. Otherwise, you don't get your one up. Would you believe that I did that on my first try? And I didn't really know what to expect with the puzzle. Anyway, here I'm just trying to get Cutter. Even though, wait, what did I have beforehand? Oh, stone. That's right. For some reason I didn't go for the health pickup. Oh, jeez, another one-up. Anyway, we have to go back and uh, get that secret. Get another switch. Yeah, for some reason the warp stars... Uh, end up being stuff you have to unlock. It's like, why? I think it's like that for the rest of the game. Anyway, just to the left here is a door. And no, that's not the door you came in from. There you go. There's your button. Oh, well, that just led back to that room. Oh, well. Anyway, um, meet Krakow. <clears throat> uh, he's a, he's a, he's an eyeball that turns into a spiky cloud. Anyway, that's how I've always viewed him. The best ability for this is high jump. High jump uh, has a uh, pretty good uh, invincibility, and also uh, when you're falling, all you need to do is just touch the ground, even when you're doing your little hop, like that, you can uh, high jump from that hop. I think I show that off. 
Yeah, there. <clears throat> I remember having such a difficult time with Krakow, but not today. Anyway, I'll see you guys for part three for World 5 and 6.